Now, first of all, this is a unique example of a writing system that was developed in the world. Um, most of the time, people go borrowing the writing systems of others. Uh, the creation of a writing system probably only occurred three times in world history. And one of these occurrences was in the area that we now call southern Mexico. Um, that in itself makes it a unique historic monument um, to a writing system that essentially became eradicated shortly after the, the arrival of the Europeans to, to the Americas. A second reason is, is that this is a, a history, an old history, for people who are often considered to be without history. Uh, for many indigenous peoples of the Americas, it's seen that history only began when the Europeans arrived. And prior to that, who knows? This shows that's not true. We have detailed histories with great precision down to the year and the day and the names of who did what, where. And this is part of that unique tradition of the few documents that have survived. And then there's a third reason, which would be that the document still has value to the Tacuates, whose ancestors for hundreds of years have preserved this, the, the, the knowledge that this is important to them. So we see with this a cultural continuity that perhaps it wouldn't be an exaggeration to say goes from 2013 back to 1120. And to have that possibility, particularly in the inauguration, have people like Domingo and Rosalba here, who've been doing so much to make sure that the content of the document is known among their people. I think that's a real and interesting and remarkable experience for, for anybody to, to <coughs> understand. And I think almost anyone will be able to appreciate that.